Hi, I'm Jen Maleka, your functional health practitioner and expert, and I just wanted to drop into your email inbox today with a couple messages of gratitude in celebration of our Thanksgiving holiday here in the US and the holiday season that is happening all over the world. Now, the first thing that I want to say is that I am sincerely grateful for my connection with you because it's people like you that inspire me to do the work that I do, to be out there on the forefront of the latest and greatest health information, natural remedies, and holistic lifestyle practices so that I can deliver that information to you and you can have all of the pieces to your health puzzle that you need to achieve your ideal health and weight and feel like your best self always. Your direct messages on social media and replies to my weekly newsletters about how the information I have shared has helped you makes every minute of my work totally worth it. Now my second message of gratitude is actually something that I want you to contemplate a little bit for yourself today. As we wind down the end of the year, it's always a perfect time for reflection. And this year in particular has been a doozy in a lot of ways. As we look back, we're probably gonna go, gosh, the year is almost over and look at all of these things that have happened to me or that I have experienced, right? Well, what's been coming up for me a lot this week as I have been doing this reflection is noticing how I can have gratitude for all of my life experiences and how I can create greater health, wealth, or happiness through that gratitude and through those experiences and the information I gain. Life is never easy. It will continue to be unpredictable and our health is not always going to be perfect, but we can still come from a place of empowerment by having gratitude for the experiences and seeing what it is that you know and how you can learn from that experience or what it is that your body is trying to teach you through the experiences that you, you're having. Now, let me give you an example of this because this has been coming up a lot for, with my clients lately. So I've had a couple of clients recently that I've been working with and they've been working towards eating better for their body. And sometimes this can feel a little restrictive or uh, limiting at first. So they sometimes get stuck in that negative thought process about you know, all of the foods that they can't have instead of focusing on all of the ones that they can have. Now, through our work together, I actually will encourage my clients from time to time to maybe have something that is not on their recommended food list in order to give them perspective about how their body responds to food. So I've had a couple of clients recently that have actually experimented with this. After cutting out certain foods from their diet that were not really aligned with them, they decided to indulge in some of these foods to see how their body would respond. And in most cases, their body had a really negative reaction to the foods that they decided to indulge in. At first, they were really upset about this, which is totally normal and a natural response. When you realize that these foods that you have loved your entire lifetime no longer work for your body, or maybe they actually never did. But instead of getting down on that fact, I help them turn it around and realize how you can come from a place of empowerment now with this information in front of you. You can come from a place of empowerment by taking that experience and recognizing that you actually do have the control, that you hold the keys to your health that you've always wanted when you stop and just listen to your body. When we slow down, listen and learn, acknowledge and accept the learning that any experience has to offer us, then that is how we can create greater health, wealth or happiness ultimately in our lives. Taking that experience of understanding that a certain food doesn't work for your body 
Now you can be more empowered with your health. You can come from a place of making conscious choices on whether or not you're going to eat something because you know the difference between feeling better or feeling worse after you eat it. So as I take a look at the personal experiences I have had this year, I have encountered some very unique times as I'm sure you and all of us had that could have easily led me right back down the road to Hashimoto's, emotional burnout, and hormone imbalances. But this time I chose to navigate life differently when faced with adversity in order to maintain my ideal health and weight based on previous experiences that I had had. It's easy to get in the cycle of why is this happening to me or feeling as if everything is going wrong. But instead, we can use our experiences to come from this place of empowerment. And so through my personal journey this year, through the experiences that we have all shared in some way, I have found so much gratitude and appreciation for some of the following things. How life has slowed down with all of the shutdowns, allowing me more time to be at home with my husband and my fur kids, more time to explore our local city sites and national parks, and how my body does all of these amazing things for me on a daily basis and the stronger connection that I now have with my body and better understanding of what maybe it's asking for me or what it's needing from me day to day based on being in a slower paced life. And also how things in my environment impact my health so that I can make more conscious choices to create a more health supporting environment all of the time instead of just maybe some of the time. So this is my message for you on this day of giving thanks. During the holiday season, we have a tendency to sit down at our dinner tables with family and friends, and we think about all of the material things that we are grateful for, for the family and friends we are grateful for, and we often don't express gratitude for our body and our health. So for today, or sometime over the next couple of holiday weeks, my message to you is to take a moment, take inventory of maybe all of the experiences that you've had with your health and well being this year, things that have been going on with your body, and to connect with what that is and see if you can find some gratitude, knowings, and learnings in those experiences. Also explore the things that you might be able to learn from those experiences or those instances and how you can use that information, how you can use that gratitude and those learnings or those teachings to come from a place of empowerment so that you can create greater health and maybe even greater wealth and happiness going into the new year. This whole pandemic and this entire year has been a huge mirror of reflection for us, calling us to look deeper, to stand in stillness and listen, and to create more space for healing. So my question to you is what will you do with all of that information that you have acquired this year to help you move forward? These are my messages of gratitude for you today. Like I said, in celebration of Thanksgiving, a day of thanks for us here in the US, and also the Thanksgivings of the entire holiday season. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving for all of you, those of you in America and a wonderful holiday season to you, those of you around the world and stay tuned for next week and my next video.